like I was working on a track the other day and what I wanted to do was to be able to play one instrument from one keyboard and one instrument from another keyboard something that's pretty easy to do in Pro Tools or other DAWs that I've used but in Logic it re requires a little bit more planning here's the scenario that I'm talking about I've got two monophonic instruments and I want to be able to hear them playing together so I might be able to audition different harmonies. I've got a trumpet sound and a trombone. So I can't play the two instruments together and create any kind of harmony. So what I want to do is have the trumpet play from this keyboard and the trombone from another keyboard. So to do this in Logic, we'll need to open up the MIDI environment window by coming to the window menu and right down here, open MIDI environment or command zero. In the MIDI environment, we want to go to the clicks and ports layer. And this is what you will typically see. You've got your physical input, which is all of your MIDI instruments coming into Logic. You've got a, a monitor here of your piano keyboard that shows you visually which notes are being played. The input view is more of a MIDI monitor showing me note on and off messages and MIDI channel and the notes played and the velocity. And then from the input view we go into the sequencer input. Okay, so we're going to need to make a couple of changes here. What we're going to need to do is to add two new transformers. And I will drag these down here and rearrange some of this a little bit to make it a little easier for us to see what we're doing. Okay, so right now from the physical input, we have a cable from the sum of all of these inputs going all the way down to the sequencer input. Um, for what it's worth, we don't need to have a connection to the input notes and input view. We can go directly to the sequencer input. Those are monitors only. For now, I'm going to get rid of the sum connection. And looks like I lost that cable. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a cable from my Studio Logic keyboard to this transformer. And then I'm going to take a cable from the Mobile Keys 25, my other MIDI keyboard, into this transformer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign them to unique MIDI channels. So when I open up the transformer, right here under channel, I want to move that from through to fixed and I'll have that fixed on channel one. So then I'll change the name from transformer to SL88. I don't know which one that is. That's on my that's MIDI channel one. This transformer, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna fix that to MIDI channel two. And then I'll name that um, Mobile Keys 25. Okay, from there I need to take a cable into the sequencer input and I'll just do the same thing where I'm taking it through the two monitors and we can take a look at this. And again, I'll move that a little bit over. So when I play the Studio Logic, I should be seeing MIDI channel one. And when I play the mobile keys, I should see MIDI channel two. All right, good. That's really all I need to do in the environment. I can close the environment window. What I need to do now is go to project settings, MIDI, and I want to go, sorry, to project settings recording, 
And I need to make sure that under the MIDI tab that auto demix by channel if multi-track recording is checked on. And it is. Okay. Last thing I need to do is in the inspector, when I go to the track view, I'm going to set this MIDI channel to one and I'll set this MIDI channel to two. Now, of course, I could do that either which way. That's just for the demonstration. So right now, with only one of these channels record armed, I can play the sound from either keyboard. Right now, I can play the trumpet from the Studio Logic. I can play it from the mobile keys. And the same is true with the trombone. I can play that from this keyboard or this keyboard. To make the split happen, I need to record arm the two of them together. And that's what we did here in the project settings. Again, I'll show you that again. Project settings MIDI. Um, sorry, I keep doing that. Uh, project settings recording, but under the MIDI tab, auto demix by channel. Um, if multi-track recording. So I need to have more than one track record armed for this to take effect. So now this is going to play the trumpet. This will play the trombone. So that's the idea. And I hope that has been helpful. And I will... Hopefully see you in the next video. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will talk to you soon.